Hello, and welcome back. If you are joining back, welcome if you are just welcoming now. There's actually a bit of a break. I had some lunch. I took a I took a sabbatical between the knitting podcast and this here floss tube video. It is December 9th, and I feel like this window isn't closed completely. No, it was not. Thanks, Mom. Uh, I am fresh, fresh by myself here, actually. Mom went home on Tuesday, and I have basically been wishing she was still here ever since, as one is wont to do. We had great time. We had great fun. We did not make it out to the uh, stitching store in Issaquah. We were gonna, and yeah, I just didn't feel like driving it. Life happens. And yeah, but there's haul to be shown. There's progress to be shown. So let's start at the start and get to the end, shall we? Let us shall. Now, I really wanted to finish this guy, the Red and the Black 2 by Prairie Moon. I love it. There you go. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I decided that I was going to give it to my mother. She knows it's going to be part of her Christmas present. I finished the socks for her, but I did not finish this. I was going to finish it and I was going to frame it, but I did not get it done. It is on 35 Count Peeps Lost Sheep Linen by Dames of the Needle. And that is as far as I got. Which is still pretty far. I only, there's, so there is a bit down here and then the finishing of the alphabet and then I'm done. So I'm pretty close, comparatively. The top, the top row of letters is done. This series is done. These guys are done. So I just have this portion here to finish and then this row of letters. I apologize for my bad nail polish job here. I'm just, it's not in the list of things I'm, I'm caring about currently. Bigger fish to fry, my dears, bigger fish. So that's how far I got on the red and the black, which I thought was really good. Like, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, having the two things done is really good. I would like to get that finished, hopefully, hopefully relatively soon. I had also been working on quilting the giant monstrosity that is my brother's Grateful Dead quilt. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen it. And I actually threw the timing off on my machine and it has to go in. I could not finish it. It was my own fault. It had nothing to do with the size of the the um, quilt, actually. Like, I took a crafty class called Quilting Big Quilt, Qu tongue twister, Quilting Big Quilts on Small Machines, which is an amazing class that teaches you how to quilt large quilts on small machines, including up to king size. So, like, I know what I'm doing, but... It was just me and every now and then I really suck it up and I throw my timing off and I couldn't fix it. So it does have to go into the shop. So yeah. The quilt will continue into the new year. It's kind of like the albatross hanging around my neck. However, if you are f trying to figure out how to quilt something big, like I know Kelly of the Evergreen Needle was looking at how to quilt something that big. Take that craftsy class, it's totally worth it, and then you can do it on a smaller machine. Uh, relatively hassle-free. Up next, I will show you. I pulled out the sugar skull again, and I moved everything over a little bit. So I finished, I had to unpick this one. It was off by a row which threw everything out. So I unpicked that, redid it, did this one, this one, this one, and started this orange one down here. I would like to see a page finish on this by the end of the year. It's absolutely possible, given what I have left on this page. Now it is four pages big, but they're not full pages, so I'm not, I would, this is one of my 
year of whip challenge once so I would like to get it done sooner rather than later so I think this guy is getting put into the heavy rotation just because it's, it's a nice palette cleanser I was really enjoying it last night I was really enjoying just chilling with it although I do have a couple of ornaments I want to get done to send off to my husband's grandmother I don't know if I'll get those done by the time I need to send that box off but I think I can so I, I may I may move it around and like work on that so there's that one the red and the black and the last thing that's all at work over the my my time away was whimsy there is the quick stitch bubble fairy cat face from heaven and earth she looks like that and I love her. I love her so. I am literally a column and a half away from a page finish. Again, I'd love to see this finished. I'd, I'd love to have a page finished by the end of the year, but it's not going to happen. I've kind of given up that ghost. I keep telling myself, oh, you could do it. And then I'm like, yes, if I didn't do anything else, I could. But there are so many things I want to finish that is not rational. However, I have gotten so far on her that I am... I It's re re kicked my my love and my vim and my vigor on this one she now has an eyeball and an ear and you can really start to see the furs which if you hold it back you can see the whiskers and the fur it, when you're doing it right up close it's like where are they but they really are there it's it's, it's a mystery to me how heaven and earth manages that hi p hi yeah we got snow here in the Pacific Northwest, and uh, while all my pets are from Canada and are well acquainted with freezing temperatures and snow and such, sometimes they're just little sucky butts. Sometimes they're just little sucky butts. How did you get food on your back? Do I want to know? Say, hi, P. Hi, P. So, yes. Is that what you needed? You needed some attentions? Because I just pe fed you. I did just feed you. Yeah. She does not like the cold. She didn't like the cold when we lived in the cold. And she doesn't like the cold now that it's back. So, those are the things I've been working on. I really love this bubble fairy cat face. I love it way too much. It's kind of funny how much I love this. So... That is definitely going to get more work. It is also one of my Year of Whip challenges. So, looking forward to that, I am. Now, I'm not sure if anyone, if everyone's up on the take. There are two, uh, the two knit along, or knit alongs, the two stitch alongs that have been announced, Clouds Factory and the Frosted Pumpkin. They've announced what they're doing. Frosted Pumpkin is doing Happily Ever After. It's a little too close to the fairy tale one for me, Once Upon a Time, which I still have to finish, so I'm I'm out. I'm out. I'm tapped out on Frosted Pumpkin. However, Clouds Factory is doing um, Influential Women, Historical Women. I might have to do that. Because that's just too awesome. They're doing two women a month, and I think that that's going to be epic, and I really want to do that. So I might just jump in on that, but I'm not going to get the kit. I'll kit it up myself. Because I'll just use fabric I've got laying around, and then I'll order the week's dye works, and it'll all work out that way. Now, those are my main things to report, but I do have some haul. And while I will be going into the Stitch from Stash in 2017, my mother also ordered from 123 Stitch and had it sent here and it has a big sticker that says don't open till Christmas on it so it is currently under the tree and I will show that to you when it gets here but we did some damage we did some damage while she was down so let me just I'm gonna get this out of the way a little book with all my notes move the iPad right P move the iPad move it move it or lose it yes so we went to Goodwill, as we are wont to do, and we came across a couple cool things. 
there's this, which is a tin, and you cross-stitch the cover. So I was like, yeah, and Mom thought it was awesome, so we bought it. And let's see here if I can do all of these. I'm always on the lookout for little ornaments because apparently it's my thing now to make ornaments for everybody. So for 99 cents, I'm totally picking up ornaments that come with everything. Because then I don't really have to think about stuff. And hey, if you don't have to think about stuff, that's awesome. And this guy, I thought it would be a good gift for next year, maybe. And it comes with everything as a buck ninety nine. Like, how can you go wrong for a buck ninety nine? You can't. You can't. It comes with everything. And then now. While my husband has been working, he, of course, has his cross-stitch with him, and other people are interested in cross-stitch, and so we had a couple, we went to Walmart and got a couple of those little ones, and my first cross-stitches, and the easy ones. Subsequently, he's converting the masses. It's rather humorous, but I saw these, and I thought he could take them on the ship if he wanted, or I could do them up for someone. It didn't really matter, because, hey cheap kits that are completely ready to go. This one says Kindred Spirits. And this one says, each new wave rearranges the patterns in the sand so we may pretend our footsteps are the first. Again, like three bucks, it comes with everything. How can you complain? Janlin and Bucilla. I don't care that they're old, whatever. Whatever. And then, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, Mom actually bought these. She was going to do them herself, but for some reason, oh, it's because she can't see very, very well with these. These are too small for her to do now. Uh, back in the day when we lived in Minnesota, we went to Stitchville, and she picked these up, and she was going to do them, and she eventually didn't end up doing them, but where's... gonna have to bug her because I think she forgot the floss from this one or I could probably just match it yeah it's got it's got the Ada numbers it's got the beads here she must have lost the floss for it whatever but she she had bought these and she never made them so she gave them to me and that's the I love boo ornament and the popcorn magnet. So those have traveled the world and have come back to me. And we went shopping. Shopping is bad news bears, let me tell you. And <laughs> no it's not. It's fun. It's all good. And so Not sure if you can tell what shirt I'm wearing today. It says angry, liberal, feminist, killjoy. Basically sums me up here. And uh, I decided that since I had never been in one, um, that we would suspend the temporary boycott on Hobby Lobby. Under usual circumstances, I work around it, but we decided to go into one. We did purchase some things. Uh, I will probably negate that by donating heavily to Planned Parenthood or something in response to that. <clears throat> but, I mean, I had to suspend my morals for about five seconds because I generally will not shop at a Hobby Lobby. But we did, and we picked up some stuff and it happens. So I got the Have a Beautiful Halloween. That was on clearance. See, clearance stuff always gets me. I'm too cute to spook. Again, on clearance. A Riolis bead kit that I've never seen, which I thought was adorable. Again, it was like two bucks. 
How can you say no? This one, you, you're going to have to laugh at me, with me, with me at me. Okay, I love sunflowers. I, I love them. They're my favorite thing. But it's all black. I was like, okay, well, I'll make that concession. I will make that for, for sunflowers. And it was on sale as well for $7. So you can't really go wrong. And then I had never seen this before. I can't get it at Joann's or Michael's. It's 28 count Monaco in the glass blue colorway. And I actually have a mermaid I want to put on that. And then because I do, I have a bunch of Hades lined up, I got some 25 count Lugana because, by Zweigart. Because you never know when you're going to need it. I always need it. And then I felt kind of bad about myself, and then I thought, I will figure out a way around this, be it heavily donating to Planned Parenthood and other charities that need it, you know, to counteract the lack of, um, the lack of care Hobby Lobby is giving to its staff. And then when we were at Joann's getting uh, more needles for my sewing machine, I saw this guy and I had to pick him up because it was $3.99 and I had a coupon. Like how adorable is he? I don't even know what I'll do with him, but I know that I love him and I want to stitch him. So I picked it up because apparently I'm all about kits. I'm all about kits and there's no way around it. So there will be another haul probably after Christmas time and then I will be going on my stash diet which means I should probably buy the Clouds Factory now and then get the Weeks Dye Works now so that it doesn't affect my next year. Which I am figuring out and I'm going to try and lay out all that plan. It's been a very busy week here in my household and it is not shaping up to slow down anytime soon. I do want to get one more big yarn die out before the end of the year. Also, we have hit a thousand subscribers. How awesome is that? So in the new year, there's going to be a giveaway of some kind to reflect the awesomeness that is viewers like you. In the meantime, I'm going to go and get some stuff done because I'm bowling tonight. It's ugly sweater bowling night. And I bought an ugly sweater just for that. So I will be wearing that tonight. And now I have hiccups. So this is the perfect point to end it on. I hope everyone had a wonderful stitchy week and I will see you next week.